and a meatball sub and a meatball sub meatball sub and a meatball sub I'm on my sub oh yeah the friends guess what in this video I am going to show you how I prep meatball subs for easy fat loss meal prep video oh yeah all right, the friends, I have lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years. And I, I learned along my journey, meal prep was one of the most important things that I could do. Because any time that I was hungry and I didn't have my meals prepped, I would go way out of control. I would overeat and eat things that I didn't plan on eating. When I have meals prepped, especially tasty ones like this, I would end up looking forward to my food and it be able to stay on track so that I can meet all my weight loss and fitness goals. And I have a massive craving for meatball subs, but they can be very calorie dense. So I decided to create this low calorie meatball sub meal prep and share it with you guys in case it inspires you to make super cool food and look forward to eating it so you can meet your goals. So this is a total <laughs> experiment. I kind of just winged it with this meatball recipe. So I have the oven preheating to 400 degrees and I sprayed a cooking a cookie sheet with baking spray with cooking spray lined it with tin foil. I'm going to make as many meatballs as I can and then I'm attempting to make 6 days worth. So we're going to make meatball subs and then have veggies with some dip on the side. And I'll show you everything, how I prep it, and how I'm gonna keep it in containers for the week. But I'm gonna start with the meatballs. So I've got this. It's about two pounds of lean ground beef. And I'm going to use some breadcrumbs. We couldn't find breadcrumbs, so I got this shake and bake. And this is half a cup of breadcrumbs. Then we're gonna use some salt and pepper, some egg whites, and some non-dairy milk. Now, tell me if you ever heard of this before, okay? Because Sassy thinks that I'm lying. Or it could be a Mandela effect. Right, yes, it could be a Mandela effect. But you know everyone knows the shake and bake commercial. But one time when I was younger, I heard this one. I shook and mom cooked. No, the popular saying is it's shake and bake and I help. Yeah, but no, one day I heard I shook and mom cooked. So let us know if you know, if you've ever heard Nicole's bizarro world version <laughs> of the slogan or the normal one. Yes, please, because Sassy thinks that I'm lying. I think you might be crazy. Well, that is possible. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna dump this beef into this bowl here. And then I'm gonna add my stuff. I'm gonna add a quarter cup of non-dairy milk. This is the Silk Creamy Cashew. We like this one because it's the lowest calorie non-dairy milk. Yeah, 25 calories per serving. Yeah. So quarter cup going in there. And then I'm gonna use some egg whites for the binder, half a cup. Oh, perfect amount left in the container. I got excited over that. Now, we're gonna put in half a cup of shake and bake. Oh, and I forgot to say, I wanted the seasoning, the seasoned breadcrumbs, so I got the crispy Italian shake and bake, and it pretty much is doing exactly what I was hoping. And now I'm gonna do a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of pepper. If you're gonna make this, like do the seasoning to your preference, like the salt and pepper, but I think this will be good for Sass and I. Okay, I'm gonna get me pepper. Come on, me pepper. Ding. Oh yeah, now this is the good part. We gonna squish. All right, mix it all up until it's beautifully combined with your fingers because it's fun to get in here. Meatball sub and meatball sub, I love my sub. Oh, hey, me hi, I love my sub. Oh, yeah, baby sub, I love my sub. <laughs> <laughs> I take it back, I don't think you're crazy anymore. I know it. 
princess. I'm perfectly normal. I'm aiming to make 20 to 24 meatballs, like enough for six, six days. I'm either gonna go with three or four meatballs per sub. So we'll see what this makes. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make up the meatballs now and I'm gonna use an ice cream scoop for each meatball. If you don't have an ice cream scoop, a tablespoon will work just as fine, like a rounded tablespoon. But I think this is gonna be the easiest way to do it. I'm just gonna scoop and roll. And everything's an eyeball, like our calories are an estimate. These will be obviously different for everybody, but at least with that scoop, we kind of have similar portion sizes. Yeah, that's the idea, is basically to use some sort of scooper just to get, you know, fairly even for calories, but Kyle and I, learned that an estimate, like we've both lost the same amount of weight, and we learned it's about an estimate. As long as you're consistent and you're eating less than you normally do, you, you'll lose weight. Like that's how we did it. All right, the friends. So we ended up making way more meatballs than I thought, and I did a better calculation of the ground beef to give you a better idea. So it's three, actually about three pounds of lean ground beef we used and made 37 meatballs. So we'll actually have more left over to freeze and use in another recipe, which is really cool. So these are gonna go in at 400 degrees, and I'm gonna aim to cook them for about 20 minutes and I'm gonna flip the trays halfway through. So at 10 minutes, I'm gonna switch the trays on the racks, and then I'll give you the exact cooking time once they're done. <laughs> All right, the friends, while the meatballs are baking, I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff I'm gonna be prepping for the week. So meatball subs are gonna require pasta sauce. This one is great value tomato basil pasta sauce. It's fairly low in calorie. Half a cup is 60 calories and I'm only gonna use two tablespoons per sub. So I'm gonna open this up and this is Sassy and I's trick. We open it, put it in a container and then we pull from it throughout the week. So that's the first thing we're doing. Well, I don't pull, I usually just spoon and scoop it. Do you know, now you know why his name is Sassy, in case you didn't know before. Here's how a can opener works. It helps if you make the sound, you make it more fun. You see, some people are like, oh, that's silly. Opening cans is boring. Not in cola sauce. <laughs> and get all the saucy stuff out, you see? Get all the saucing out. All the saucing. There Show you how to empty a can of sauce, too. Well, yeah, they might not know. <laughs> Okay, so that's what it's gonna look like. And then two tablespoons per sub. So I'm just gonna lid this up for now. And then I'm gonna start getting, like I said, we're gonna do veggies on the side. So I'm, what I like to do is, we're gonna have baby carrots and celery sticks. And I found if you cut them up and put them in water, it actually helps them last longer. And it, it's not prepping every single day. I'm gonna prep once and then again, we're gonna pull from it throughout the week and Sassy can insert sassiness there. <laughs> so I've got a bowl for the carrots and celery. And we're on our, what is it? Seven or eight years of weight loss and we both, you know, this is how we lost 130 pounds. The base of how we did it is meal prep. Exactly. Yes, and um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dump all of the carrots in the bowl and I'm um, just gonna rinse them a bit and then fill the bowl with water. And this helps them last way longer. Okay, so I'm just running water over them. Just uh, rinse out any of the carrot funnies that are in there. <laughs> carrot funnies. You know, sometimes the carrots have funnies on sometimes them. Sometimes they do get <laughs> slimy, but this actually keeping them in cold water in the fridge helps them not be slimy. Yep, and so there we go. I just put water in it, and then I'm gonna seal the container up. If it will close, there's a lot of carrots in there. And uh, that's it for the week. It's not gonna close. It's fine, that's what this one container's for. <laughs> Share it with the celery buds. <laughs> you can be buds with the celery. <laughs> Okay, get my uh, lid Rooney. Come oh, on, close it. It did. It, yeah, yeah. Celebration. <laughs> All right. 
time for celery. I'll just chop off the old bottom. The beam. Oh, we're cutting celery beams. Yeah. <laughs> just uh, take that little funny Some off there. celery gross on that one. <laughs> okay, let's get all the celery. So I'm just gonna basically chop these up into sticks, rinse them, and then toss them in containers with water so they last longer. There's the celery. There it is. And here's the lid and uh, it'll just barely close, but we're gonna be eating this for dinner and showing you how to prep it so it'll <laughs> close. <laughs> it doesn't close. It'll eventually close, it's fine. We're gonna move on and prep the cheese that's going on each meatball sub. But I just wanted to, to mention, in the meatballs, you could put some onion and um, garlic or whatever you like to flavor the meatballs. I left that out because Sassy and I get really bloated by onion and garlic. And that's why I chose the seasoned breadcrumbs because I figured it would give me the flavor without needing to put in the onion. And just know if you add onions and stuff, it'll add a little bit of calories, but. Yeah, and you just need to adjust. And of course the calorie count that I'm gonna give you for the meatballs and the whole meal itself is an estimate. It's gonna change depending on how what you use so remember it's just an estimate and you know kyle and i live life by estimates <laughs> <laughs> so this is what i'm gonna do we're gonna do six days worth and i'm gonna go for 15 grams of shredded cheese for each sub so i calculated about 90 grams to shred and then I'm gonna divide it up into 15 grams per container so that all you have to do is grab one and put it on your sub. And I'm gonna put them in the containers and then place them in this in the fridge so that the containers aren't gonna bang around in the fridge and get loose. What me and Nicole learned, don't leave yourself an out. Meaning, if you don't have every single thing prepped, your head will say, well, I'm hungry and I don't have this ready. I'm not gonna eat that or I'll grab some fast food or something. Trust or, us, prep the cheese, prep the veggies, prep everything. The other thing is, if I don't shred out exactly the amount of cheese I need and separate yeah. it, might, I might be more likely to go, well, maybe I could just have a little more cheese and then the calories add up. So we're using, you can choose if you're gonna make this to use a lower calorie cheese, but we're using regular cheddar, old cheddar cheese from Walmart. And I'm gonna just cut this open and then shred up a bunch. And then I'm gonna weigh it out 15 grams per container. So, like this. And, okay, here's a tip. I'm using this little shredder, this cheese grater, because I find it shreds it fine, obviously, and it gives me the idea or the feeling that I'm eating more cheese. <laughs> ah, it's a good tip. Yeah, if you use the regular shredder, it's it's like thicker shreds. Yeah, but this, like, you'll see. Um, so it looks like I'm eating more. It just makes me feel like I'm eating more, it and that spreads that's, out further. Yeah. Yeah, and that you know that means something to me because I like food and I like to eat. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go with that amount for now, and I'll shred more if I need it. So I'm turning on my scale. This is a digital scale. We always get asked what it is and where it's from. It's called Perfect Portion. We got this like, I don't know, five or six years ago, I wanna say, at Bed Bath & Beyond. But you can get any scale. I think you can find them anywhere, Amazon, whatever. I'm turning this to grams, and I'm gonna put my container on, zero it out so that I only measure the cheese. And I'm gonna put in 15 grams. Perfect. So uh, there we go. And then, like I said, 15 grams, when you shred it with the little shredder, it looks like a ton. And I'm going to lid it up. Then it's all ready to go. We just uh, throw it on there. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I have um, one of these that I got from Walmart and I'm just gonna place all of the cheese containers in here and put it in the fridge like that. That way, because these little containers, they go around in the fridge and you lose them. So it's all contained in one and then you just take it when you're ready to do a sub. So that's what we're gonna do now. Leave yourself no excuses to stick to your diet. Yes, oh and also you can just buy a bag of shredded cheese if you prefer, but this is, Kyle and I buy it and shred it ourselves because it's cheaper. So if you're on a budget, then this is like a cheaper way to go.
Okay, all my cheese is measured and ready to go. Six days worth. The friends, you wanna know something crazy? I literally eyeballed 89 grams. I was only one gram short. It's not on film, I don't believe you. Guys, just trust me, believe it. I was a cheese measurer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the meatballs are done, but I thought I would let you in on a little secret. You guys like my stand-ins, and I always like to think out how I'm gonna prep things and make it easier, so I drew a diagram. <laughs> And I thought you guys might like to see it. I drew the cheese little containers. I drew the ranch dressing. Those are carrots and celery, by the way. <laughs> I'm not uploading this. <laughs> They're gonna love it. <laughs> Look at my meatballs. <laughs> They're pretty good, actually. <laughs> I put them even on the top of the container. <laughs> you know, like me. <laughs> Thanks for sharing that. Anytime I enlighten someone's life. Okay, so this is what they look like. They turned out really good. So it was 400 degrees and 20 minutes and we flipped the trays halfway through and then we of course flipped the meatballs. So I'm gonna put them all in two containers and then I'm gonna just let them cool before I put the lid on. But I'm gonna put all these in the containers and then I'm gonna show you what the meal looks like, how I put it all together and then I'll tell you the calories per meatball and then for the whole meal. Okay, let's do up the sub. So these are whole wheat hot dog buns. They're 150 calories per bun. And it's gonna be one per sub. So let's see. I'm excited to see how the meatballs like look and fill out the bun -rooney. I see how they look right now, see? Guys. They look like balls of meat. Do you, guys, come on now. <laughs> Now, I gotta put this back for the thumbnail action. Yeah, put it make, back. Make it look beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna open this baby up and I would like to put four meatballs and sauce. I think I'm gonna do the sauce first. So two tablespoons of sauce I'm gonna put down like that. And then I'm gonna put the meatballs inside. One. Two, three. Oh, Whoa. I looking think, good. I think three might I be the three way. I think fills the bun. Okay, so I'll, uh, the calories will be even less for the meal because these are big bears. All right, so let's do that. Got a little bit of sauce dripper. We'll put that lovely like this and then I'm gonna put the cheese over top. I guess you could like broil it or melt it in the microwave. Oh yeah, I bet you could actually. How's that guys? Looks great. Oh, come on, how do you make it pretty? Now Good you're boring. dieting and you think mm -hmm. you gotta eat boring food and then you got... Imagine The that. reality is we eat this and diet and lose weight. Isn't that crazy? And like, the friends, like, I'm leaning out right now and I just lost more weight. Like, I'm 141 pounds. When I lost the 130, it was 145. And I'm fitting in, like, a size 4 or 5 right now, which is, like, I've never been before. That's really cool. So now I'm going to take half, about half a cup. Again, I'm just going to eyeball it. Half a cup of carrots and celery. Put them on the side, like that. Half a cup of celery. Celery, celery, you're good to me. Oh, celery, oh, celery, you're good to me. Celery, so sweet, oh yeah. And then we will be dipping this the carrots and celery in just regular ranch and half a tablespoon. So I'm gonna put half a tablespoon in the middle. Do you need a half? Oh, you got one, yep. Oh, I'm prepared, buddy. Half a tablespoon going in the middle, going in the middle. There you go, my friend. Okay, the friends, so this entire meal with three meatballs is about 507 calories and I worked it out, it's about 67 calories per meatball. 
I am like so excited and that is pretty much bang on because Kyle and I eat about 520 ish calories for dinner so um I am the eyeball master the eyeball master the eyeball master so the friends meal prep and dieting does not have to be boring you can literally take anything you're craving and make a low calorie version eat to your heart's content and lose weight like sassy and i do and if you want to know exactly what we ate to lose our first and next 50 pounds two weight loss guides we have check out the links are down below we also have a brand new guilt-free cookbook that has super cool recipes like that low calorie versions of all your favorite foods you get the taste without the guilt and extra cows and we also have huddled harder than last time supplements protein powder we got a whole bunch of cool flavors coming in the mail soon check out the link for that as well go mm. Mm -hmm. yeah oh my god wow those turned out really good mm. Mm. I think I'm messy. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Try it. Well, I nailed the meatballs. Sorry, I'm saucy. <laughs> mm. Oh, wait. Don't forget. They know what to do. Be a magician. Let's meatball sub dance out. Meatball sub, meatball sub, yeah. Meatball sub. Love you, hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Love your wife and have so much fun that you eat your food and love it. Woo! See you guys. Bye. <laughs> love you. Peace. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bye through it. <laughs>